Hello everyone, this is Game Frost. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be playing PC Building Simulator with the hardware expansion mod. So this hardware expansion mod just adds a lot of ton of new stuff, a lot of crazy stuff actually. And I, I just decided to record this video because at the time of recording, PC Building Simulator 2 is gonna come out in like two days. And I just wanna, you know, give this game, you know, a try. I haven't recorded any footage of this game in this channel, so this is my first time doing that. Uh, and probably my first, well not my first commentary, but who cares. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun and we're just gonna try free build. And okay, whatever, doesn't matter. I'll just go here. So yeah, loading is gonna take a while because you know I'm running this on a hard drive. But I hope you guys will actually enjoy this gameplay video. Alright, so we're in free build mode, and our, the first thing we're going to try to do, we're just going to try to make something pretty insane, obviously, because why not? Oh wait, I don't think we could unscrew this. I think we have to go straight to settings to do that. What the heck? Okay, everything should be turned on. Auto cable tool, everything. There we go. Uh, Maybe we could search for a new case, maybe something pretty big. Uh, or we could just try and find something expensive like this Corsair 1000D. You know, the fun thing about PC Building Simulator is that you can build PCs without even owning one. You know, I mean, of course, you need to own a PC to play the game. But like, what I mean is, you don't have to pay a lot of money to, you know, get these computers. So what we're going to try to do is, we're going to look at these motherboards. Now, as you can see... The game is kind of slow right now because it's processing all of these motherboards. Look at this. And there's one motherboard in particular that has like a very high memory speed. And it's this. Look at this. 10,000 megahertz RAM speed. That's like, I mean, I think DDR5 can actually get there right now. So let's take this. Come on, take it. And we're just going to place this big old motherboard over here. Okay, so this kind of looks like, I mean, I think this is epic, I think. So we have about eight DIMM slots and we have four PCIe uh, slots. We're just going to add some wacky storage with it too. All right. That's only like one storage slot. What the heck? And what we're going to try to find, we're going to see if there's, let me see, how many cores? 76. So this one right here, I think this one is by far the strongest CPU in the game. And this is just a mod, by the way. I'll show you how crazy this build is going to be. Uh, okay, we're just going to add maybe some big old dims. I think the frequency would be 11,000. So you could get 11,000 megahertz, 8 gigabyte uh, sticks, but we're not here for that. We're here for the size. Oh wait, 64 gigs? Are you serious right now? Okay, we could like do maybe 8,000. That's not, it's not big of a deal. Because I think we could like XMP it and then just like maybe overclock the memory itself. So if you guys are new to PCs or whatnot, you know, this game, it's not really accurate and this mod is especially not accurate as well like it has a lot of wacky stuff but um it does show you how you could like build a pc in a way like you see how you can install these ram and sticks and stuff like that you know you have to press these memory clips and how you open the cpu well let's be real most of us here probably don't have enough money to just buy a thread ripper i may be wrong on that so don't quote me on that okay other than that, uh, we're gonna try to search for some graphics cards. We're just gonna add some thermal paste. I like how they put a little dot there. You know, it should be like the X method. I don't really like this piece size dot right here. And I hope I don't get copyright striked on this. I don't trust the music. Okay, um, we could try and 
fine. Actually, you know what? We could try an all AMD build. So we got AMD Fire Pro, Radeon, Radeon Instinct, and Radeon Pro. So I think the most expensive AMD card is the Radeon Pro. The funny thing is, right? I remember when I made a video about the W5000. It's not the W5100, but it was the 5000. They're kind of the same, but the 5100 has 4 gigabytes of VRAM, whereas the 5000 has uh, 2 gigabytes. And the funny thing about the W5000 is that it's as fast as an Xbox One and an RX 550, which is interesting. You know, this is a GCN 1.0 card. Okay, aside from that, I'm going to look for the most expensive AMD card. This is just an all AMD build. Oh wait, I forgot. I think I should remove the... Yeah, I have to remove the PCIe covers. You know, the cool thing is about these covers right here is that you can actually screw them back. So if you have like a decent case, right? A case that is somewhat... I can't really say it's expensive. Oh, I thought it crashed for a second. Uh, You can actually do this. But if you have like an old case, I don't think it would work as well. Um, all right, price. We're gonna bring this down. Thirty-one hundred dollars. Not thirty-one hundred. Thirty-one thousand dollars. Are you serious right now? That's not enough. I need extra. I need more. This game is kind of slow, don't you think? So it looks like we're not gonna be water cooling this thing. But if you guys check in the back. I've installed 15.3 terabytes of storage. Look at this. 3,299. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these. 15.3 terabyte SSDs. Absolutely mad. And the next thing we're gonna try to do is add some CPU cooling into this thing. Uh and this is what we got. 535 CFM. I want to see if there's anything else that's better than that. And if it's not, then, oh, it's the cryo. So it looks like we can't add this anywhere else for some reason. I think we have to remove something here. Okay. Now let's try and see if we can add it. Yes, we can. So we could put it in the top or we could put it in the bottom. I'm going to put it in the bottom. That is kind of a weird placement. I am not going to lie. What is that? You know what it doesn't matter we're gonna add some fans into this um so we're gonna look at case fans and we're gonna just see the highest airflow fan it's not gonna be an rgb build which i mean i wasn't really a fan of rgb to begin with no what did i just remove what is that oh that was just an ssd that i removed something why can't i add a fan here come on game are you serious right now Wait, what do you mean my closed panel? Oh, come on. I think we have to pick something smaller, I think. Let's see. Size, 120, 150. Does it work? It does. So what we're gonna try to do, we're just gonna try and overclock this thing, which sounds quite crazy, but I think it's worth it. This is just gonna stay there dust filter off uh can i add any fans up here i think it's the 140 millimeter ones i think all right let's bring that up there when you're playing your games on a hard drive uh it depends on the game like if it's an open world game you kind of need an ssd or else you'll get a lot of uh dips frame spikes um frame time graphs will be out of control so if you guys have an open world game just try and get an ssd i think it works wonders i think we need one more case fan size 120 millimeters will this work it works it works oh my gosh we're adding so many fans look at this I like how it's just not arctic arctic okay so we got this 535 cfm i think and we got this the radeon instinct ma100 two of these actually so these are gonna be in crossfire i think 
um they don't have the crossfire thingy thingamabob so now what we're gonna try to do is add the power supply and the wattage for this is just gonna be absolutely insane 11 thousand watts or 11.4 kilowatts of power this is probably the the most insane build i've ever seen and we're spending a hundred and wow almost 150 grand when you think about it this way like that's like i have no words i don't know what this is going to be used for but like this is probably like some kind of supercomputer but that's something like nasa would use right but I feel like NASA themselves wouldn't spend $150,000 on one computer. All right, let me just close this thing. I think we're done here. I think. And we just close this door right here. We close this other panel. And look at this. It's complete. All we need to do now is add a USB drive. And we're done. I think there's a missing cable. What's the missing cable? Hold on, let me take open this. There's one missing... Oh, that's a case fan. It doesn't matter. You know, the problem with this game is that the motherboards don't have enough headers. So you can add as many cables as possible. And another a gripe I have is that you cannot four-way crossfire or SLI. So it sucks. But let's just power this baby on and boom. Here it is. Only the radiators RGB like. All right. Let's go and uh, close this down. And we're going to try and check the BIOS. Hurry up. Now, the cool thing about this mod, right? Is that you can actually crypto mine. I am not even joking. And uh, it looks like you, you can break parts if you crypto mine. But I'm going to enable this to see what happens. And we're also going to enable fast boot. So this is really good. Also, we're going to enable XMP. I think in amd they call it this docp uh i forgot what they i don't know what they actually call it when they abbreviate it this way but whatever and we have the epic 9993 all right let's restart look at this this looks amazing uh we're going to uh add some software like lighting occt and also will it run because why not and gpu tuner so we're gonna restart this bad boy again just look at this a big old pc that is 150k i don't know if this pc is actually mining honestly i'm not sure myself but first we're gonna try this at stock and see how much it runs look at this 380 on the cpu are you serious on time spy that is unrealistic that's like that's like alien tech okay alien tech right there 104,000. that's with us cryptocurrency mining we were just mining this thing i don't think we have the mining software though but it doesn't matter what matters though is that we're going to tune this gpu to the absolute limits so what we're going to try to do is open up OCCT and we're just going to play with this, right? So we're going to turn this on and see what happens. So we're getting like 50 degrees Celsius on the GPU. And this is with us SLIing right here. I mean, not SLI, it's Crossfire. I keep getting the terms mixed up. So what happens if we add like 400 megahertz? Will it blue screen? It did not blue screen, but it's going up to 79. What about 100 on the memory? Oh, wow. So we're consuming around 2.3 kilowatts. That's kind of concerning. But knowing that the RTX 4090 and, you know, the new Intel processors that are coming out, especially AMD, they just released their Ryzen 7000. I really do think we're edging closer to this power draw right here. Which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. So we're going to add at least 410. And already, already hit like 46, 40, 80. I said 46, 85, okay? I'm kind of tired today, guys. All right, we're going to open up 3D Mark again. 
This is absolutely cursed. We got like an almost an extra 100 FPS on that. Here we go. 113,000 points. So high. That is just absolutely unrealistic. But thank you guys so much for watching this gameplay. If you want to see more gameplay like this, just comment down below. Also, I'm now partnered with Eniba. Eniba is basically, you know, a cheap games key website in which you can find game codes uh, that are like way, way cheaper than Steam. Like you see Spider-Man, at the time of recording this, Spider-Man is like $39 on Eniba, right? And on Steam, it's like $60. So like, if you think about it this way, bro, like a, a PC port, for sixty dollars, but that's that's kind of insane. So you could guys, you guys could go on Enable right now and check it out because yes, cheap game keys. Who likes to save money? I do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please leave a like and everything else. I'll see you next time.